Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Today I'm going to be organizing under me and my husband's bathroom sink and I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore 3 to keep me organized from here on out. Or at least I try to be. When we moved in a year ago, I organized under our sink using the things that we already had. We didn't have as many products at the time because we just moved in and the movers don't pack certain products. So as time went on, I would get new things for under my sink and the organizers that I have under there just were starting not to work anymore. Just really unorganized now and it's a little frustrating because you guys know I love organization and this has been something I've been putting off. This is my husband's side and as you can see, I have a box of hot tools over there that belong under my sink. So we're going to be tackling his side as well. So we're going to start off with the first step in organizing any space, which is taking every single thing out. So let's get started. If you're new to my channel, I make cleaning, lifestyle, organization, and home decor videos. If you love things like that, I would love for you to subscribe so you will never miss another upload from me. But I know I have to try, try to let go. Now I'm just gonna measure the inside of the cabinet just so I know what I'm working with. Now that I have my measurements, I'm gonna categorize all of my products. That will help me decide how big each bin needs to be. Some categories might be bigger than others. Just like my hair tools, I definitely would need a larger bin for that one. So I'm gonna do that first before I head out to the store. It's like she stole my heart. Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be Moving on to Brandon's cabinet I'm gonna take everything out and do the same thing But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause you'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before And she will never know That I love her so well. She's with somebody else and I So I have an idea of how I want to organize under my sink. I have a plan on how I want to set this up. That's the reason I measured before I headed out to the store. I went to the container store and this was honestly a bit of a splurge, but I was really tired of kind of working around the clutter and mess under my sink. So what you see here is a part of the Like It line at the container store, and that's pretty much a modular drawer system. You can literally customize any kind of system you want. There's a bunch of different sizes of these drawers. They have accessories and little organizing compartments that you can put inside of these drawers. You can find these organizers in the same area as the Like It modular drawer system. You can use these to organize inside of the drawers. But I plan on using these on top of the containers for like hair ties and accessories. Ooh. 
you can definitely fit way more in these containers than what I originally had under my sink so I'm really happy about that so on the right hand side I chose two tall narrow drawers these are perfect for your tall lotion bottles your hair products shampoo conditioner things like that and then on the left hand side I have two different size drawers it's hard to tell when you first look at it but the two drawers on the left are two different sizes the one on the top left is actually like a medium size in height and then the one underneath it is much taller so that'll be for my hot tools but before I went to the container store I originally planned out the drawers to be this way and I'm happy that everything fits so as you can see I have plenty of space to add more bricks or even another shorter drawer if I wanted to um, I can add another brick to go like this on one of the narrow drawers but I'm gonna keep what I have because I think these drawers are big enough to fit everything that I need I added those clear smoky containers in the middle. I already had those. I got those from Ikea and I plan on putting my makeup in here. Just my everyday go-to makeup. Take it out and put it on my countertop as needed. So we'll see how everything turns out. all of my containers that I had under my sink originally to Brandon's side and since he doesn't have as many products we're gonna be using this for like backup things and his products so everything turned out really nice and organized on to my favorite part which is using my Cricut. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore 3 to create some customized labels for my containers. The Cricut Explore 3 is a smart cutting machine that allows you to accurately cut over a hundred materials including everything from iron-on, vinyl and paper to specialty materials like glitter paper, cork and bonded fabric. One of the best things about using a Cricut is that you don't have to be a naturally crafty person. I definitely am not a crafty person, but the Cricut makes it so easy to make just about anything. Another cool thing is that it has the ability to draw and score using a scoring stylus. So you can definitely make some Christmas cards and type whatever personalized message you want on those Christmas cards, birthday cards, and even home decor. I'm having so much fun using my Cricut. I've already labeled a lot of my kids' school supplies like their headphones, their lunch boxes, water bottles, and pencil boxes. To start my project, I'm going to go into the design space, which is a free app that comes with every Cricut cutting machine. In my opinion, it's super easy to use and navigate.
I love that there's already a ton of ideas on the design space. I'm gonna type in fall just so you can get an idea of what the design space has to offer. All right, let's get started on these labels. First, I'm gonna go to text and I'm gonna choose a font for my labels. As you can see, there are a ton to choose from, which is really nice. Once I choose my font, I'm gonna type what I want my labels to say. The great thing about this is you can type all of your labels on this page all at once and it'll just cut it. You don't have to keep coming in and out of the design space to make a label. The whole process is just really quick and easy. Get away, this is what we waited for. Once I'm happy with the size and font of my labels, I'm gonna click make it. I'm gonna just follow the steps and it's gonna start cutting. I couldn't decide if I wanted the labels to be white or black, so I'm gonna try both and see which one I like better. I already loaded in my white vinyl, so that's what's cutting now, and then after that, I'm gonna load in my black. Then you're gonna take the weeding tool. This is my favorite tool out of all of my Cricut accessories. You definitely are gonna need this one. And what I'm doing is I'm just weeding out all of the holes or the things that I don't need in my text. You'll see what I'm talking about once I pull up my vinyl. It's a little hard for you guys to see on camera, but in person I can see it just fine. So I'm gonna weed through all of my labels. That only takes about a minute or two. And then we're gonna pull up our vinyl. Vinyl is actually really easy to pull up. I'm just doing it really slow so I'm not ruining my labels. And after that, I'm just gonna check to see if I missed anything with my weeding tool. And I actually did, so I'm gonna get that taken care of. And then we're gonna move on to the transfer tape. So I cut my transfer tape to size. I'm gonna pull it up and stick it right on top of my labels. After that, I'm just gonna cut my labels out and take them to my containers. So now I pull my transfer tape off of my vinyl and place it directly on my container. And after that, I'm gonna get my little scraper tool and ensure that everything is stuck on there evenly. Slowly peel back the transfer tape and then we'll have a label. great thing about this vinyl is that it's actually removable so I can definitely take this off if I change things around. Somebody ought to come along and let you down. All right, so here's a little before of what my cabinet looked like. It was a hot mess and here is the after. I love the results. I actually think I might go to the container store and pick up some of these for my husband's side because I love them that much. Don't forget to check out Cricut if you're interested. The link will be down below and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Never let me go. Hope somebody will break your heart and leave you crying on the floor.